Hey guys, Nick10 here. Today I'm back with another origami tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fold Jeremy Schaefer's Origami Time Flies from the book Extraordinary Origami um, by Mark Kirschenbaum. This is a model shown on page 130, and I'm going to show you guys how to fold it right now. So what we're going to need to make um, colored wings and a colored clock with hands um, is use dual colored paper. Uh, I'm going to use the orange side for the clock, just like this one, and the yellow side for the clock hands and wings. So let's get started. First, we are going to valley fold this in half. Unfold. And now fold this edge to the center crease and fold up to about right here. Very sharply. Unfold. Do the same over here. Do the same. Unfold. And now rotate and do the same over here. Do this crease. And you can use this point as a reference because we get to do that. Unfold and fold this edge to the center crease over here. And now we are going to make a rabbit ear fold. So let's do this and fold just like that to the center. Make a little center mountain fold right there. And fold it to one side. It really doesn't matter because um, cause you don't really need, it doesn't matter because if you fold it to the left or right, we will um, make a crease there anyway. So just like that. That. Now we're going to fold this flap over like that and do the same here and unfold. And now we are going to make a little pinch right here. So fold this point to this tip. So just like this. And make a little crease right there. And make another one. Fold that point to the pinch mark. And this one is now a valley fold. So you can fold just like that. Unfold. And going to outside reverse fold that tip. So open it up just a little. And on this tip, mountain fold. And fold it back up. And you should have a little tip just like that. Uh, triangular white tip. Now we're going to repeat those same steps. So fold this point to this point. Make a pinch mark. Unfold. Fold this point to the pinch mark. Pinch and unfold. And fold this point to that pinch mark we just made. Crease. And now open up the flap. Just like this. And rotate it back again. Now we are going to fold this flap up. And the fold goes from this little intersection right here and up to this point. So let's fold. The fold should stop at the intersection and end at this little point. And now we can fold the flap over and do the same here. It starts from this intersection, ends at the point. So fold just like this, and you can use the back edge as a reference, so you can line it up, and crease, and now I'm going to repeat the same steps on this side. Okay, so now that we have that, we can now um, pull this little flap out, this tip, and it should look like this, and pull the tip out right here. And now, valley fold this part of the hand to make it just as symmetrical as possible. Unfold it, and now we are going to reverse fold. So, just like that, we have the hand. 
do the same here. And reverse fold it. Just like that. And now we are going to fold this point up to here. Just like that. Do not repeat that step. And now fold this flap just a little, don't flatten it, and fold this edge to the crease right there. And now fold the flap back down, and crease sharp. It should look like that. Now we are going to valley fold these points to this point, this point to this point, this point to this point, and this point to this point. So I'll speed up. Let's do this. Crease. Unfold this point here, crease, oops, okay, try again, crease, and unfold, and do the same here, crease, at that point, unfold, over here, crease, and unfold, and now, we are going to fold these points into those intersections. Let's fold here, the intersection up here, Let's rotate and do it here. Now, crease, unfold, and now we are going to valley fold up, right here, like that. And we are going to valley fold where this point ends, and this point ends. So basically pleating it, and do not let this flap swing out, because you're going to keep it there for a little reference point there too. Well, for the other hand, and mount and fold the rear flap. So let's match it up the back side of the edge. And now let's unfold. And now let's fold this flap to this point right here, this little intersection. And it should look, let's see, fold it just about like that. And yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, I will do a part two if you guys want. And make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to Nick10. And as always, stay slimed. Bye!